What's up guys, it's Regent, and let's look at everything revealed by Battlefield 2042 in today's EA Play, The Future of FPS Spotlight. To start things off, it was confirmed by Christian Grass, the general manager of Ripple Effect Studios, which is what DICE LA recently has been rebranded as, that the special experience being created by the studio will be bringing back fan favorite maps. No other info on this experience was shared, but this lends credibility to the rumors that a Battlefield hub with remastered maps weapons, and even gameplay features from previous Battlefield games may be coming to 2042. This ripple effect mode, as well as Hazard Zone, which is said to be a contemporary mode that really utilizes the Battlefield formula, will be covered in greater detail at EA Play. Those were the biggest pieces of info we learned, but we learned about other things as well. For example, it was confirmed by Oscar Gabrielson, the general manager of DICE, that players will be able to shoot in and out of tornado events and that players can be warned of approaching tornadoes by bending trees on the map. This leads into a lot of the talk there has been about the next-gen capabilities that will be a part of 2042. We were also told about the philosophy behind 2042's live service. The live service, from what was said, seems to be heavily inspired by Respawn's live service for Apex Legends and the live services DICE have done for previous Battlefield games and Battlefront 2. The Respawn part is especially promising, as Apex Legends has had a fairly constant stream of quality content for players for quite a while now. Grass and Gabrielson also talked about the CTE, or Community Test Environment, of Battlefield 4, which was a heavy inspiration for them when it came to the flexibility of live services. This may or may not be alluding towards a CTE for 2042. Gabrielson also talked about the tablet commander mode from BF4 and how he wishes for it to return to Battlefield in the future. As with the CTE talk, this may or may not be alluding to the inclusion of this feature or a similar commander mode post-launch to 2042. Finally, we were told that over the course of 2042's three years of development, a large amount of effort was put into the storylines and worlds that gameplay takes place in. As a result, It's possible we could get cinematics or trailers that progress the story of 2042's world as new seasons launch, in a similar fashion to Apex Legends or COD Warzone. Overall, this is about all we learned from today's spotlight. We didn't get too much info, but the bulk of what we want to know will probably be covered at EA Play on July 22nd. So, what do you think about the spotlight, and are you excited to learn more about Battlefield 2042? Let me know down in the comments. Well anyways guys, I hope this video covered everything you wanted to know, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.